This is the world's first malaria vaccine. And today it's baby Teddy's turn. He's six months old, and this is his first dose to protect him against the killer disease. Liliana Deo is known as the malaria warrior. She tells me the vaccine has greatly reduced the number of very sick children coming to her Kasimu clinic. But not all are protected. We don't just test all the children for malaria. Um, like this one here has a fever. The mother says the child has got fever, vomiting and uh, cough. So these are suspects for malaria because one of the critical symptoms of malaria is fever. The vaccine will be rolled out across sub-Saharan Africa to the communities that need it most. We drove a few hours south of Kisumu to a town that is in desperate need of help. This is Homer Bay, a small fishing town that lies on the shores of Lake Victoria. This vaccine isn't just going to save lives, it's going to save entire health systems from collapse. Here in Homer Bay, they're dealing with not one, but three health emergencies all at the same time. There's HIV, malaria, and we're still in a pandemic. This town has one of the highest rates of HIV anywhere in Kenya. One in five people here are infected. <laughs> Malaria is endemic and any outbreak here will have devastating consequences. <coughs> Bella came to hospital three days ago. Her little body had swollen to twice its normal size. She had a high fever and is severely malnourished. Blood tests confirmed Bella has both HIV and malaria. Her grandmother needed counselling when the news was broken to her. It's a relief to know what's happening to Bella, so I at least know how to manage her illnesses. Bella was born with HIV, but after being abandoned by her mother when she was just two, she was never screened. Homer Bay's director for public health, Dr. Gordon Okomo, told me cases like Bella's are sadly common. I call this one a triple tragedy because we are battling with the communicable diseases at the same time. We are battling with the non-communicable diseases and of course we are in the mix of the pandemic. So this one is taking toll on the health systems. And of course, uh, if you look at this, uh, uh, in the, the mix, it's, 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 it's crazy. Bella's malaria and HIV treatment has started. It was lucky she was diagnosed in time. Doctors are confident she will survive. The malaria vaccine will mean Homer Bay could, in the future, have one less health crisis to worry about. Ashish Joshi, Sky News, Homer Bay, Western Kenya.